All right, peeps, what are we doing today? Well, today we, we're trying to quit smoking. And so, naturally, I'm bitchy. All right, supposedly we're supposed to be healthy and stuff, so I'm drinking water and trying not to smoke. And needless to say, I just got up and it's like four in the afternoon. So, what are we looking at? Why are you not looking at WoW? Well, for one thing, not that I'm bored of WoW, I actually have no content to put up. Shock gasp. Um, yeah, I don't. So, sorry, peeps. Sorry on that front. I got so excited with the, uh... Bleh. I don't know. With that last one, I just kind of... I don't know. I didn't play. I was laughing too hard most of the night because of Scott Bayo. Anyway. So what is this you're looking at? This shanty-looking thing, supposedly. Hmm. Well, this game is called Prison... Architect, and it's an alpha, like most of these fun games are. So, yes. So what did I just put on the right and put down a workshop? Because what does the workshop do? Where you send your prisoners to die of boredom while making you car license plates. You're welcome, because I'm nice like that. I'm also building some foundations and things like that. Now, you can't have a room without a door. So we come over here, we go to objects, and we'll put jail doors on these sides. So we'll put a jail door there, and a jail door there. Then we'll put a staff door here, and here. And here, because if somebody really wants to get into that, more power to them. So then, what do you have to do now that you have these rooms, and you have doors, and you have these little workers, and they're putting in the lights and stuff like that? Well, you should probably define what kind of a room it is. Why am I using this room? We'll make this room storage. And we'll make this room... Actually, we're going to make this room the utility room. Uh, bump. And bump. So they give you a power station, and a water pump station, and a capacitor, and you got your electrical cables, and all that fun stuff. It's kind of... It's not really like, but think... Older SimCity, where you actually had to run power and water and stuff like that, except you're running a prison pretty interesting stuff. This is what I've been doing the last couple of days. So we'll put in some fence. I can fence off that whole area. Yeah, buddy. Uh, but we won't do that. Put some fences over here. This will be our little intake area. We got jail doors and staff doors and stuff like that. Looks like our prisoners are arriving. Read the CEO's letter. Congratulations, you're awesome. We need a warden, we need jail cells, we need a kitchen and canteen, and we need water. Thanks. Cool. As you would typically expect. So, what are we going to do? We're going to put in a large jail door here. So they cannot go running for the hills as soon as we pass them through intake. And then we're going to put in some foundations, make another little area. Hmm. We do need an office. We'll make this the office. Office has to be 4x4, four four, so including walls, it has to be 5x5, five five, so we will make it 10x10. Ten ten. I learned how to, you know, count, I think. There we go, we'll find out if I can count. So, materials fence. Put some fence in there. So, hopefully, prisoners will be delivered here, be escorted through the gates. And then we should probably have somewhere for them to be once they get here, although we are running out of money. So let's go to reports, and let's go to grants. Let's build a basic detention center for 40000 I can do that. So we get the foundation tool. Cool beans. Uh, no, I want this to be the canteen. Or the kitchen. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then this will be the holding cell. Doesn't have to be super huge. Then on the back side of the holding shells, ah, shells, cells, we'll give them showers. The showers are important. And then we will also need the canteen so that they can eat. Yeah, let's make the canteen a little bit bigger. Mm 
And then down here we'll give them a yard to play in. Alright, so we're spending money like madmen. Now we should run our cables. Have some electricity. Have some electricity. Have some electricity. We will need to run water as well, but not at the very moment. Herp derp, I need objects. And we're going to put in a staff door because hopefully, hopefully, the prisoners will come in here and be immediately escorted to the holding cells. Uh, we will probably need another fence then. Fence. And. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that seems good. Seems good. So why do I have no WoW footage? Well, honestly, I did the toes with my peeps. I was gonna, was gonna do a really nice edit on that stuff, and that's why we're watching me play this at the moment. Excuse me, I have to cough. Clearing out all the ex-smoker stuff. Alright, pardon me for that. Alright, so what are we going to do down here? We're going to make some offices in this bottom one down here. Uh, we don't need that. We already have the foundation, so they need to be 4x4. Four four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Didn't exactly plan that out well, no, did I? Because that's only room for one office. But that's okay, so we will call it an office. And it is 4x4. Four four. Now, some of these rooms do have requirements. They do, they do. So we'll make this a staff door as well, so only the staff can get in there. Holy crap, I made the giantest room ever. Alright, so now we can just come in and... Let's see... Should we walk them through the showers to get to the holding cell? No, let's put them in the holding cell first. Then give them an area to shower, which will be here. Then we will put in... That's going to be the cook area. This is going to be the canteen. Then they can have this subdivided one more time. This will be the yard and the free, the free play room. There we go. That's the plan anyway, so we'll see what happens. Um, hmm. <laughs> How do we want to work this? Alright, well first of all, let's get this set up. So let's label our rooms. This is going to be our holding cell, pretty much intake. Cool beans. This is going to be our kitchen up here. There we go. This is going to be where they eat. Or was this where they eat? Holding cell, shower, eat. There we go. This is going to be there. Hmm. Execution? That would be interesting. Can't believe I already forgot. Alright, this is going to be their yard. And this is going to be their common room. Alright, so once they're in the... Okay, starting to get an idea of what we're doing here. My phone is bleeping. Why are we bleeping? Email. Uh, more people selling shit. Awesome. Alright, so basically rooms have requirements. We're going to turn this down to play because we have prisoners coming and we're not ready. So to be a holding cell, it needs a toilet and a bench. Cool beans. Bench. Welcome to prison, bitches. One, two, three, four. And let's give him a place to waz. Hmm. Alright, eight toilets, four benches. So that way we have eight prisoners coming. Everybody can go to the bathroom if need be. So what do we do? We take the large pipe. 
large pipe carries more than a small pipe. Actually, we are using the small pipe, so hang on a minute. This is going to be our main water line, and then we'll run it from the small pipe. There we go. So we give them all plumbing, we've given them electricity. Alright guys, hurry up, you got work to do. Um, this was supposed to be the shower, yes. Alright, so the shower we want... Hmm. What kind of prisoners do we have coming in actually? Normal prisoners? I'm sure I'll have to escalate them at some point. But, <clears throat> let's take no chances in the beginning. We'll go with jail doors. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. And I don't want people going from the yard directly to the shower. We don't want any shankings, people. We don't want any shankings. Alright, so the kitchen, let's get the kitchen set up. We want to feed these people, man. We want to feed them. So what does it need? A cooker, a fridge, and a sink. Awesome. Let's put in a staff door here. Nope. Let's put in a staff door here. And a large jail door here. Because there should be no reason for them to go this way. But you know what? Sometimes prisoners get keys, so let's make this very interesting. So we will put the large jail door there. We will put a fence here. And then we will put another large jail door here. So if need be, I can always take out the fence if we're expanding and fun stuff like that. Because my plan is to have the kitchen staff pretty much pick up what they need from the deliveries and storage, which is why there's a staff door here. This has a jail door so that prisoners shouldn't be in there, but anyway. Uh, staff door here so they can go directly into here, so this doesn't need to be closed off. This, however, prisoners are going to come in through the first large jail door, second large jail door. We've got these areas fenced off. This has a staff door, but that's fine. Um, hmm. No, no, it's not. Because I have had escapes in my prisons before. So we're going to put another fence there. And we're going to put a jail door here. There we go. Alright, why do you guys still need water? Oh, dick face. That's funny. Alright, it's not really funny funny, but there we go. Helps if the pipe connects and goes around. Now, the closer that is to the top people, your power station level, uh, you're pretty much getting ready to max out and you will need to get another capacitor. So, rooms shower. Let's give these guys a place to wash the nads. Office. All right, let's worry about the prisoners first before anybody else. So a kitchen would need some place to cook. They'd probably need a fridge to get the food from to keep our prisoners happy. Well, as happy as can be in prison. So the kitchen's all set. Uh, we're gonna need that staff door on the back side of the canteen. Now here's the problem. If I put the staff door here and a prisoner comes through and sneaks out, he is free to escape. So we're not going to do that, and the staff is just going to have to... We're going to have to put in a jail door. I didn't want to. I want to trust these prisoners. I do, but... I don't know. Serving table in the canteen. Let's get uh, two serving tables. Oh, shit. It's almost intake time. Time for some guards. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. It's eight guards, correct? All right, one for each prisoner. Uh, how's security? Security's not wonderful, but we're working on it. So we have serving tables. Just because you're in prison doesn't mean you're technically a bad person, so we will give them that. Bench. Bench. Uh, there we go. Bench. Bench. 
Space bench table. All right. There we go. Give them some space. I know. The shower room should probably have shower heads, huh? Yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. Alright, so we got our first load of prisoners. What do, and you bring them through storage in the kitchen. Idiots. Anyway. So we got John Stubbs. What are you in for, John? 13 years for trafficking. He said not guilty. Matt the Yonk. Arson. Welcome. What else do we got? We got Gareth. Violent disorder. Violent disorder. Uh, smuggled weed. Assault. Assaulting an officer. Wow. Alright. <coughs> so. Now our prisoners are nice and tidy behind there. Since the prison is officially open, we can speed time up a little bit. Doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot, but that's okay. And we'll want some drains in the shower. Just hoping to get all this done before the prison has arrived, but alas, I did not. Now, with the jail doors, you may notice... Oh shit, I don't even have water going to them. Uh, here we go. With the jail doors, they need a guard to unlock them, essentially. That's supposed to be the... Oh, look at him. He's exercising. He's having a good time. This guy's getting ready to go take a shower. Cool. Got some guys just sitting, chilling. Cool beans. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the actual prison block right here. Right off the back side. guess we should have a warden. There you go. I know you don't think it's an office yet, but I take care of my prisoners first. Thank you very much. We need to get this prison up and running, not you to sit on something so your fat ass can just sit there. Alright. First of all, let's prepare the food, showers, let's get these guys set up. Now uh, we are pushing the, we're beginning to push the limits of our power station. He's doing we. that's awesome. Bum, bum, bum. So we have a nice layers of defense here. It seems this, I'm feeling, is very weak at the moment. But there's no reason for them to use that staff door, so you know what we'll do. We'll let them finish the piping and all that other fun stuff, get the kitchen going. These poor guys, I don't even have a meal for them today. Alright, cooks, get on it. Oh, you can't get on it because there's no power. Oh, shit, I just blew the power. Awesome. Alright, this is what happens when you blow the power into your prison. So, what do you have to do? You have to come back into utilities, and probably your best bet is to put in another capacitor. We will put in two. And let's hope they get on that right away. Alright, then what we do... You need to be in the utilities menu. Kick on the first capacitor. Now, if I turn it on now, we obviously know there's not enough. Cool beans. That should be on as well. Yep. That should be on as well. Restart the power station, which restarts the... All that other fun stuff. Cool beans. All right. So, my pizza... Have a peeps. My peeps have a place to shower. They're in the yard. They're bored. I think it's exercise they want. I think so. I uh, think so. So, now we can feed them, house them, place to feed them, common room, yard, shower. Okay. Now that we got the basics down, let's come over and give this guy what he wants. He wants a filing cabinet. He wants 
a disc, and he wants a chair. Yeah. Alright, so let's get the warden taken care of. And why do we care about the warden? Because the warden is going to let us get... Doctors. It's going to let us get security. It's going to let us get finance people, maintenance, groundskeeping, because this prison is going to look really shitty really quick. Alright. And we're getting eight more prisoners. We are going to turn that off after we get our next eight. This is going to be the prison block. Alright, yep, because of the holding cell and the prison block, I like it. Alright. Cooks! Let the cooks in, man! Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Guy's taking a shower, cool beans. Now, just for giggles. It is a wise idea to randomly search your prisoners. Oh, snap. He had contraband. So did he. Looks like we had a... What? He had a gun? Jesus. I think he's already been searched, but just in case. Wow. He had hedge clippers? Wow. You gotta keep an eye on your peeps. This is why I say, like, you want to treat them as nice as possible. But by the same token, if these guys are running around with guns and cheers and stuff like that, then, you know, maybe. Just maybe. Alright, so based on that, we're going to change the way this prison is laid out. I was going to give you guys freedom. I was going to. Alright, so let's find out who had the misconduct. None, none, you. You are upgraded to a maximum security prisoner. As are you, because you guys had guns and knives, and that's a stabbins. So we're gonna make you maximum security prisoners now. Alright. How's our power station? You should be able to power this without blowing out the, uh, Without blowing out the power grid, methinks. It's a shame. I wanted to be nice to you guys. I did. It's been ruined now. It's been ruined. Now you're gonna make me build this like to be a mean, evil prison. All right. So, a prison cell needs a. 2 by 3, so 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Alright, and we'll just repeat that. And you can do different things. Uh, this is planning mode. Well, what I first did was planning mode, so I can just get a general layout on how I want things set up. Um, typically, I would have liked to have set this up with a little more freedom for them. But by the same token, I'm not going to have them killing each other because I want to be nice to the select few. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh. <clears throat> 11, 12. 13, 14. 15 and 16, so this will house the first influx of prisoners. Now, what do you need to make an actual prison cell? Well, you need a bed and a prisoner. Why can't I put that there? Anyway... So yes, it would also be nice if they had a toilet. So when we go into lockdown, hopefully we don't have to do that too often. <clears throat> Alright, 
And then we're gonna need jail doors, and we're gonna need stuff like that. Doop, doop, doo. Let's see, what do they keep trying to have me buy? Gelato Signature Bakery for sale. Asking price 89000 mm, Nice. Near Cambridge. Established young signature bakery shop with stylish chocolates and seasonal gelato in a very chic and stylish setting. High profit margin products, blah, 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 near Cambridge. Cool, not bad. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Alright, so, back to this prison here. Alright, how long has this been going on? I don't know, let me uh, see if I can take a look. I don't know, I don't know, but we'll finish this wing. We'll get it all set up for prisoners. And then we'll end it, and if you guys like this, I'll do more of it. But I wanted to put something out today for you guys. Oh, that's right, because you guys need a uh, guard to open that door. It's sleep time, guys, and you're not sleeping since you're one of my max prisoners. We're going to search all the maximum securities. And we will search you. And you. And you. First one to go into cuffs gets an orange jacket. Good. Nobody in cuffs. Nobody in cuffs. Cool beans. So what are we doing? We have our next set of prisoners arriving shortly. Alright, let's run the cables. To there. And to there. I'm gonna want this on its own separate water system. Because there are cool things you can do in this. Uh, one of which is to... I can pretty much create a pipe valve, let's say here. And it will shut off all the water to this pipe, so if we have to go into a lockdown situation and guys are just, everybody's being a dick and people are trying to stab each other, I can do the same thing with power. So we'll just prepare for that. I kind of want them to get this all set up first. I'd like to give my peeps a nice place to, you know, hang out. Now, after they are done with that, I want... I want, I want, I want? Hmm. No, we will do it this way. We will have the large jail door here. So they will go directly into the common room <coughs> and into the canteen that way. And just in case, because the guards are so far pretty stupid. Now, is this because I don't trust my prisoners? No. This is because I don't trust my guards. <laughs> These poor workmen are trying to get good jail cells in for people. Eight prisoners arriving. Looks like they've already arrived. Alright, so let's go to our reports, let's go to the prisoners, and turn it off. We have enough prisoners, thank you very much. Um, we've got the warden, cool. Somebody let these people make cells for my prisoners, for the love of Christ. You know what, fuck it. Door mode locked open. Thank you! I would like to get my prisoners out of holding. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, since there appears to be a lot of blood in the holding cell. I didn't want to get these already, but... Ay, ay, ay. It appears we have asshole prisoners already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Injury to prisoner, maximum security. Great. 
No recent misconducts. Injury to prisoner. Maximum security. Injury to prisoner, and he got knocked the fuck out. That'll teach you. Alright, so we are getting towards the end of what I wanted to do here. Um, I didn't plan on making solitary confinement cells this early. I, want, I just wanted to get, like, this section done. And give my prisoners a nice place to hang out. It was gonna be nice, until they started freaking killing each other. So, yeah. So, if you guys want, I will do more of this. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stop it now because I think it has been a little while. Alright, peeps. Talk to you later.